I'm trying really hard not to say wow. So <laughs> but I really, I really want to say wow at like every second line of this. <laughs> Hi, I'm Archie. I'm Molly. And uh, today we'll be reacting to 2014 Forest Hills Drive by J. Cole. Mm -hmm. um, At last. Yeah, I know people have been requesting J. Cole for a while. Uh, but before we get started, um, we just want to say thanks for, uh, we actually reached 10K we did, yeah, subscribers um, after that last video. So yeah. thanks. And uh, so shout out to you guys. Yeah. Shout out to you. To me? Yeah. Um, shout out to Molly because she does everything on the channel. Like... She sets up everything. She edits everything. I'm we just a pretty face. We edit together. We edit together. I'm just here to press play. I'm just uh, incredibly good at editing. Yeah, you are. So um, <laughs> <laughs> you're familiar with J. Cole? I know one song by J. Cole because um, we actually recorded a reaction to a freestyle he did. Yeah, LA Leakers freestyle. Yeah, but we didn't put it together and upload it. We can do that if you wish. I don't really remember much yeah, of that, that was to a be while honest ago. it was a while ago yeah. um and i actually prefer i prefer when we react to an album as a whole mm -hmm. i feel like with single songs it's really difficult to like get in the zone yeah i don't feel like it lets you appreciate an artist to to like a, the full extent because right. um, i feel like one song you don't like you don't really get a story you don't yeah. like really you get a gauge. feel for like you like, can't gauge his range or yeah, whatever. Yeah, and, yeah. And if like on an album, like some songs I like more than others. Mm -hmm. And if I listen to one song and I don't really like it, I have no other chance. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like no, the I, others I give, it, give it more of a chance for me to like really appreciate right, it. Right. So I'm very much looking forward to doing a whole album rather than just a song. Yeah. Um, I feel like a lot of people like asked for him on Kendrick, like on the Kendrick videos. Yeah. So J. Cole, I think like, in the 2000, you know, like he came out in the 2010s. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong. He uh, he's widely known as like the one of the top three rappers, I guess, oh, of this generation. Like they always say, Kendrick, Kendrick Cole, and Drake. Like that's that's what I was hearing. There's um, always a and Kendrick Lamar is my second favorite artist mm. we've discovered on this channel. Yeah, I love him. I think he's fantastic. Yeah. So if J Cole is anywhere near as good, then I'll be very happy. Okay. Yeah. So uh, this album is called 2014, Four Sills Drive. Mm -hmm. uh, that's actually the address of his childhood home. Oh. Um, also came out in 2014. So, oh. Yeah. I'll be honest with the people out there. I haven't listened to this album in a long time. Oh. I don't remember much about it, mm -hmm. like in regards to like the hype or like the release or like the discourse around it. I think a lot of the, like, especially the first half of the 2010s, I was doing other stuff, you know, I was listening to other genres so this is kind of like another light reaction on a, my part a for you yeah yeah reaction for me yeah okay but anyway well, enough talking mm -hmm. um we'll start off with the intro we'll let it just go through to uh january 28th okay so here it is that's nice That's really nice. Mm -hmm. Do you wanna do you wanna be happy? Oh. Do you wanna be happy? Do you <laughs> wanna do you wanna be happy? I said do you wanna do it's you wanna be It's kinda cinematic. Yeah. Happy. Look how oh. far I came. The strings? <laughs> they say the dreams come true, and when they do that, there's a beautiful thing. Free. I said, do you want to, do you want to be? That was beautiful. It's a nice intro. Yeah, yeah, that's lovely. What a start. Look, the real is back, the veil is back, flow bananas hit, peel this back. And what you'll find is your highness could paint a picture that's vivid enough to cure blindness. <laughs> Carolinas, finest. Every so often I fade deep in my thoughts and then get lost in the days we used to play before your coffee was made. 
Just got the call, nigga got caught with a straight. Hope he's okay. Just got paid with Cochran, got paid the free OJ. Just to share my life on the stage in front of strangers who know a nigga far too well. And that's the danger. Know me better than I know myself. I rip a page out my notebook in anger and let these thoughts linger singing. If you believe in God, one thing's for sure. If you ain't ain't too high. And you ain't too low, and you ain't too low. What's the price for a black man life? I check the toe tag, not one zero in sight. I turn the TV on, not one hero in sight. Unless he dribble or he fiddle with mics. The bigger we get, the more likely egos collide. It's just physics. Please, let's put our egos aside. You my niggas. And should our worst tendencies turn us into enemies? I hope that we remember these nights full of Hennessy. When hove around, we switch oh. up to that do say. Gotta show respect one day. We trying to stay where you stay. Cause we from where you from. Not talking about the slums. I'm talking about that mind state to keep a black nigga dumb. Keep a black nigga dying by a black nigga gun. And keep them listening to these front This is for Son. Yeah. yeah, I said, son, this is New York's finest. For 11 winners straight, I took on New York's climate. Like, show me New York's ladder. I climb it and set the bar so high that you gotta get Obama to force the Air Force to find it. Never mind it, you never reach that. Cold as the hypnotist, control the game whenever he snap. That's every mm. trick, nigga. Don't give him too much. I like that. Mm. Don't let him take control. I ain't serve no pass. I ain't slain no dope. I don't bring no lies. Niggas sang my quotes. You niggas might be L, or you might be Kane, or you might be Slick Rick with 19 chains, or you might be Drizzy Drake or Kendrick Lamar. But check the birth date, nigga. You ain't the guy. Nah, you ain't the guy. Nigga, the cold the guy. Nigga. January 28th. That was both of those were really nice. Yeah. Well, like really just very pleasant. Yeah, the production is quite smooth on those. Yeah, they were very smooth. Yeah. I really, really liked that. But I also really like he said really like profound things in mm -hmm. there. Yeah, it was a great intro for sure. The the intro, like the actual intro, like that. Yeah, yeah. That was like lovely. Right. Like, like just lovely. I'm gonna look at the yeah. lyrics again because sure. I feel like there were like a lot of lines in there that I was like, damn. I think my favorite in particular was uh, Cole is the hypnotist, control the game whenever whenever he snap. So, you know, when you, you put somebody under hypnosis and then you snap. And oh, yeah. Come out of their spell or whatever. I didn't really pick up on that. Yeah, but snap as in like snap yeah. on the track. Wow. You know? Wow, I didn't get that one. Thank you for that. A picture that is vivid enough to cure blindness. Just got paid what Cochrane got paid to free OJ just to share my life on this stage <laughs> in front of strangers. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Another deep one, right? So he's talking about people, like him telling his story to people, I guess, like through song mm -hmm. and being a rapper, having achieved being a yeah. rapper. What's the price for a black man life? I checked the toe tag, not one zero in sight. Yes. Oof. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's it's quite the intro. Yeah, sorry, I I just <laughs> there were so many lines in this, and I want yeah. to I want to give credit to all of them. So he says. Check your birth date. You ain't the god. Then he says January 28th. Then there's sounds of a baby. Yeah. So, so that's, that's when he was born. Yeah. Okay. And then like, maybe it's kind of like a, like, oh, I was, I've been, I was born to rap. Maybe oh. kind of thing. I don't know. Maybe that's just kind of like, I because like he talks about like, about rapping. I'm trying to make a million dollars off a rap tune. That's true. Can I make a million dollars off a rap tune? So yeah. that's kind of, I think it kind of sets the stage for this album because mm -hmm. like, as I said, 2014 Forest Hills Drive is the address to his home, mm -hmm. childhood home. Um, then starts off with his birthday and then kind of foreshadowing this make a million dollars off a rap tune. So it's kind of from like his childhood to stardom, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, another thing I would add as well is the that house. He actually bought it. Oh. And then he's renting it for like a lower price for... Wow. Yeah. For, what a good uh, guy. Yeah. So for people, more affordable housing, I guess, yeah. for people in his hood. So Wow. That's yeah. fantastic. Right. So, wow. Okay. Also, I want to add that he produced a lot of these tracks himself mm -hmm. uh, in collaboration with other producers as well. But like, yeah, the first, wow, amazing. The first the two tracks. The production is really nice. Yeah. It's smooth. Yeah. Kind of detailed. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Let's go. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's move on to Wet Dreams. Great. <laughs> Cold world. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It wasn't nothing like that first. 
time She was in my math class Long hair, brown skin with the fat ass <laughs> Sat beside me, used to laugh, had mad jokes The teacher always got mad, so we passed No thighs on her and them hips on her and them lips on her Got me daydreaming, man, what? I'm thinking how she rides on it If she sits on it, if she licks on it Make it hard for me to stand up <laughs> As time goes by, a tracks is getting deeper Wet dreaming, thinking that I'm smashing, but I'm sleeping I want it bad, and I ain't never been obsessed before She wrote a notice that you ever had sex before Damn, and I ain't never did this before, I like no. yeah. I ain't never did this before, no And I ain't never did this before, I like these vibes And I ain't yeah. never did this I wrote back before, and said, of course I had sex before Knowing I was fronting I said, I'm like a pro, baby, knowing I was stunting But if I told the truth, I knew that I'd get played out, son Hadn't been in pussy since the day I came out one, But she don't know that So she done wrote back and told me Oh, you a pro, homie? Well, I want you to show me My mama gone for the weekend So Saturday, baby, we can get the freak, yeah That's when my heart start racing And my body start sweating Baby, you done woke my little man up I'm thinking how that body look naked When you laying on the bed Teacher, please don't make me stand up I wrote back like, yeah, baby, sound like a plan Still trying to play it cool, sound like the man But I was scared to death, my nigga, my stomach turned Talking shit, knowing damn well I was a virgin <laughs> Fuck And I ain't never did this before, no And I ain't never did this before, no And I ain't yeah. never did this You know that before, feeling no. when you know you finna bone for the first time I'm hoping that she won't notice it's my first time I'm hoping that my shit is big enough to fuck with And most of all I'm praying God don't let me bust quick I'm watching pornos trying to see just how to stroke, right? Practice putting condoms on, how we go, right? I'm in a crib now, nigga palm sweating With a pocket full of rubbers and an erection It's time for action, pull out the condoms real smooth Yeah, just how I practice But right before I put it in, she flinched and grabbed it and said I wanna get something off my mental I can tell you a pro, but baby, be gentle, cuz Cause I ain't ever did this before, no And I ain't ever did this before, no And I ain't ever did this before, no And I ain't ever did this before, no Sorry, I just remembered, I forgot to mention that um, the intro was really cinematic. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like uh, the first three songs, like the the details, yeah. I think because of the strings. Mm -hmm. I like the. I love the strings. I'm not a big fan of strings, mm -hmm. like in general. They can sound kind of cheesy, but yeah. I think it's done so well. Yeah, here. exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's just enough. Yeah, I love yeah. this. The vibe is just, it's so pleasant. I'm yeah. having such a good time listening to it. I don't yeah. feel emotionally drained. I thought that was funny. <laughs> yeah. Like I thought that was very insightful. No, that. for sure. <laughs> To the psyche of a teenage boy. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was so good. Yeah. And it was like, it, it kept your attention. For sure. You wanted to know where the story was going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it was going to be embarrassing or... Yeah. Yeah. I thought that was fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Actually, I'm just I'm just looking at this thing. It has over a billion streams. Oh, holy shit. Yeah. There's a lot of people getting themselves psyched up. Yeah. They're like, if Damn. J. Cole could do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me look at the instructions. <laughs> no, that's a great song. Um, yeah. I love this so far. Like, I just, I feel happy listening to it yeah i'm scared in case it like goes somewhere and i'm gonna be like depressed but <laughs> if it does like i i trust him to to do it masterfully. to bring it back whatever. yeah i i i really really like this so far i have a yeah. good feeling about the rest of it yeah i really like the instrumental i don't yeah. remember that like i remember the song mm -hmm. obviously because it's not something you could forget yeah. <laughs> but i don't like remember the details of the song yeah and so like the instrumental like yeah especially on the headphones mm -hmm. was really good i feel like in the first or the second one he was like throwing like a harp or something like briefly yeah there's just like little things and, here like, and there little violins or yeah something. i like the way he chopped up the sample yeah. the drums in particular reminded me of uh, i think it's the same drums as Nas used and i can um can't answer that for yeah me. I know <laughs> you can't, <laughs> but that that drum has been that drum pattern has been used in several other mm -hmm. hip hop songs. So I thought it was a cool kind of throwback. Yeah, um, I love that. I especially really, if I... it was like, sorry to cut you off, but like I guess he's rapping from perspective of being an adolescent. Mm -hmm. um, so he, it sounds like he took. I don't know. I don't know if this is on purpose, but that drum oh, reminded like a, me like a throwback. Yeah, yeah. So maybe like that time period. Damn, that would be so clever. I'm not saying he directly used that drum. I, maybe it just like, it yeah. just gave him. It just makes him feel nostalgic. So yeah, he put it in there. Yeah, um, I just thought of that right now. So. Yeah. Well, this Maybe. is great. I'm happy. Yeah. yeah let's okay, go. well, let's uh, move on to O3 Adolescence. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Yeah. Sounds like a Christmas song. <laughs> it does. <laughs> 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 
Wow! Lovely! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I grew up a fucking screw up. Oh. Tie my shoe up. Wish they was newer. Damn, need something newer. I ain't grow up with my father. I ain't oh. thinking about that now. Fast forward four years or so from now. I'll probably cry when I realize what I miss. But as of now, my eyes are dry. Cause I'm trying to stay alive in the city where too many niggas die. Things change, rearrange, and so do I. Cool. Ain't always for the better, dog. I can't lie. I get high cause the lows can be so cold. I might been a little bit, but I don't fold. I always did shit the hard way. My niggas are slanging in the hallway. <laughs> Burnt CDs of trees like this was Broadway. Whispers that he got it for the low low seller. Down for a dub. Them white boys ain't no no there. better. Besides, yeah. what's $20 to a nigga like that? He tell his pops he needs some lunch and he gon' get it right back I hit the boulevard, pull up to my nigga front door His mama at home, she still let him hit the blunt though I told her hello, and sat with my nigga and laughed And talk about how we gon' smash all the bitches in class I complimented how I see him out here getting his cash And just asked, what a nigga gotta do to get that? He told me, nigga, you know how you sound right now? You on my mans, I would think that you a clown right now Listen, you everything I wanna be, that's why I fucks with you Ooh. So how you looking up to me when I look up to you? Wow. You about to go get a degree, I'ma be stuck with two choices Either graduate to wait or sell a number two Four brothers, one mother that don't love us If they ain't want us, why the fuck they never won't rep us? I wow. felt ashamed to have ever complained About my lack of gear and thought about how far we done came I love that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Wow. I'm trying really hard not to say wow. So much. <laughs> hey, that's your that's your signature. Yeah, right I there. know, I know. But, that's your signature you know, move, so you can say are, it. People are, you know, they're mocking me. They're. I'm trying hard not to say wow but as many can... times. Like he's saying so many things. Like yeah. how he was talking about, he was telling that guy like, like he he wanted to be like yeah. him basically, and then right. that guy's like, "What the hell are you talking about? Like, yeah. why would you want to be me?" And yeah. then I have two choices: I can yeah. either sell drugs or work in a fast food restaurant yeah. or something. And like he's that. like going yeah. to get a degree, and damn, that was yeah. wow. He's a great storyteller, right? Yeah. yeah, and wow, I absolutely love the like. I love the instrumentals. It's really cinematic. Yeah. Yeah. But like, yeah, it's not like overbearing. Mm -hmm. Like, I just feel like it's just done right. Yeah, like, it's done perfectly. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if they're, uh, I haven't looked so, I don't know if they're samples or mm -hmm. whatever, but the strings and the... I like the little sparkly. Sparkly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I love that. I love all of this yeah. so far. I don't have a bad thing to say about any of it. He really illustrates perfectly, like, the kind of awkwardness and stuff of being yeah. like a teenager. Right. And then like, yeah, I just... Yeah. Yeah, I, I it's just, very honest. Like, I remember when I first heard, uh, I know we're kind of going backwards here mm -hmm. with Wet Dreams. Mm -hmm. I was like, well, who wants to hear this? <laughs> you know what I mean? But then, like, his vulnerability, I guess, in it, yeah. like his honesty, mm -hmm. it's like, hey, why not? Like, a and, lot of guys would, would, uh, like yeah. relate to that. Yeah. And I think it's just a really, yeah. he just illustrated that yeah. perfectly with, like, the kind of like feelings. Right. Well, I don't know what it's like to be a boy who's. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the, just, just this last track, mm -hmm. like, O3 Adolescence, like, just being, like, 17 or 18 years old mm -hmm. and kind of, like, deciding, like, your future. Yeah. That's a really important time mm -hmm. if you really think about it. Like, I don't know, for me, it's, it's a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, yeah, I really captured that. And he's, like, looking at people around him, like, oh, yeah, I kind of want to be like you or whatever. Yeah. Like, and he's like, no, bro, like, you yeah. have this opportunity to do whatever you want and excel or whatever, mm -hmm. right? So it's it's cool. Like, it's, it's definitely, like stuff that you would so like these feelings you would have at a, at a younger age they really captured it yeah. captured it well with a nice soundtrack too mm -hmm. right so i don't want to like take up time because literally if i look at the lyrics and tell you the lyrics <laughs> i like to I'll just be going through the whole song yeah but wow i yeah. i really wow i'm extremely impressed so far there cool. was all the wows for <laughs> i'm gonna i'm just gonna say wow when i feel like it from now on just do it um they're expecting it but so. but damn like wow <laughs> He's extremely talented. Yeah. I'm really, really, and it's just like, like reading the lyrics, it was kind of like, like sad almost. Like, yeah, like it was sure. hard to listen yeah. to the words, but the like instrumentals are 
it's just really pleasant yeah. on your ears. For sure. Yeah, and it's all very smooth. I'm enthusiastic about this. I'd like to move on. Cool. Yeah. All right, let's do it then. <laughs> so track number five is called A Tale of Two Cities. It's interesting. Yeah. Uh. Since I'm young and now we dream of getting rich. Look. Look at me, my nigga. Throw some 20s on that bitch and get it rinsed. I love this beat. <laughs> But now I see my nigga, the head he caught a body, I'm convinced Anybody is a killer, all you gotta do is push him to the lips And can I get a glimpse? Last night I had a bad dream That I was trapped in the city, then I asked, is that really such a bad thing? They robbing niggas on the daily, can you blame a nigga that ain't ever had things? Mm. Guess not Last night, they put up on my nigga at the light like uh, Nice watch, run it Hands mm. in the air, now hands in the air, running. Small town nigga, Hollywood dreams. I know that everything that glitters ain't gold. I know the shit ain't always good as it seems. But tell me till you get it, how could you know? How could you know? How could you know? Wanna know a funny thing about this shit? Even if you let them kill your dream, it'll haunt you, nigga, haunt you. Last night I had a bad dream. That I was trapped in the city, then I asked, is that really such a bad thing? I look around like, do you want to be another nigga that ain't never had things? Mm. Guess not. Last night, we put up on a nigga at the light like, uh, nice watch, run it. Hands in the air, now hands in the air, run it. Hmm. It's kind of holy. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Father, forgive me for my childish ways. I look outside and all the clouds are gray. So I just take me, man. Take me, man. Take me, man. Your wish is my command. My command. I love the beat on that. Yeah. I thought it was kind of like foreboding. Yeah. I really like that. It was different from the rest of them that we've heard so far because they've been very like yeah, they're more smooth and pleasant and yeah. kind of lighthearted. So I don't know if you caught that or I don't know if I'm right. But so Tale of Two Cities in both verses, I think they're two different people. They're supposed to represent oh. two different people. So like they just talk about how they want to be rich or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then in the first part, like he's talking about how... Uh, Last night they pulled up on my on my guy and at the light and took his watch. Mm -hmm. And then in the second verse, uh, he's saying how like last night we pulled up on this dude and took his watch. Oh, yeah. So like I think the first verse was rapping from like just somebody who just has these ambitions, whatever, mm -hmm. want to get rich. And then somebody took his watch. Like mm -hmm. I feel like it's two different. I guess tale of two cities, like mm -hmm. two different people both have the same kind of dreams but want to achieve it in two different ways oh so like the second guy him and his buddies i guess took the guy's watch mm -hmm. and the other guy like i don't know i like, understand yeah, what you yeah. mean yeah wow Sorry. <laughs> i never picked up on that no i think that's what's going I on i just I, got it from I, the watch part because i'm like absorb, uh, i didn't absorb what was going on in yeah yeah too. yeah wow that's fantastic i could I be really wrong like that little but... uh gun sound like the yeah so yeah. right before the, the yeah. taking of the watch thing mm -hmm. so that i think the second time i was like oh wait a minute he's talking about he's, he's I talking didn't about taking that it. like some yeah. of the lines were the same but slightly different yeah exactly yeah, yeah. so i that's yeah the second time i was like w but i thought so i was uh, mm -hmm. th yeah whatever. interesting <laughs> let us know in the comments okay, okay let's cool. move on so track number six is called fire squad I like the speed already. Think of why you acting like a hoe. Know that I'm a ride for you, eat away and go. Tell me, girl, why you be stressing me for time? When you tell me you love me, can't you see I'm trying to climb? Ain't no way around it no more. I am the greatest. Lot of niggas set on the throne. I am the latest. I am the bravest. Go toe to toe with the giants. I ain't afraid of you niggas. I'll end up fading you niggas. Blah! Think of why you acting like a hoe. Know that I'm a ride for you, either way it go Come here baby, why you always insecure? Hold on tight to a nigga and be sure huh. 
my inhibitions, fighting my intuition, premature premonition. One day you have to decide who you gon' be, a scary nigga or a nigga that's gon' rule like me, keep it true like me, cold you might be, like the new Ice Cube meets the new Ice Tea. History repeats itself and that's just how it goes. Same way that these rappers always bite each other's flows. Same thing that my nigga Elvis did with rock and roll. Justin Timberlake, Eminem, and then Mac Lamo. While silly niggas argue over who gon' snatch the cram. Look around, my nigga, white people have snatched the Sam. Oh, damn. See, I'll probably go to the awards, dab but damn. Watch Iggy win the Grammy as I try to crack a smile. I'm wow. just playing. But all good jokes contain true shit. Same <laughs> rope you climb up on and hang you with. I recognize that life is a dream, and I dream lucid. And break the change and change minds one verse at a time and claim two six. And fuck it, if the shoe fits, who's the king? We are kings. Kings of ourselves, first and foremost. While the people debate who's the king of this rap game. Here comes little old Jermaine with every ounce of strength in his veins for all the kings. Cause I know deep down every poor just wanna be loved. Hmm. Really love the beat on that one too. Yeah, that might be one of my favorite beats actually. Yeah, I really, really yeah. enjoyed that. Yeah. yeah. Wow. You know, I I know I've like acknowledged this without like actually acknowledging it. Cause I feel like a lot of how can I put this? Rap is super personal. Oh, yeah, for like sure. what we've listened to, a lot of it has been like super personal and like honest and vulnerable. Mm -hmm. I really like that because like a lot of music I like, I guess, maybe expresses things in more abstract yeah. terms. Yeah. Like Radiohead. Sometimes you're like, what the hell are you singing about? Yeah, for sure. But this is just laid out beer. Right. It's very direct, like, it's easy done, to understand. Like done masterfully. Yeah. But it's very raw and just very like open and yeah. like yeah direct like you understand you get what they're talking about yeah. and they're being really open and honest about like their life and their experiences mm -hmm. i think that's one of my favorite things about rap so far oh yeah for sure yeah i think that's why ghostwriters is a big deal in, in hip-hop because mm -hmm. hip-hop is like self self-expression yeah. it's all about honesty mm -hmm. not always um but it's one of the major components is mm -hmm. like the, the lyrics yeah. and and how you put those words and and make a song and mm -hmm. how you want to convey that to other people so like if you got somebody that's writing your own songs yeah i mean it's it's not the same thing as like an r&b song where mm -hmm. you could pass the song to rihanna or britney spears or whoever they're, they're like the vessel for yeah. these words yeah to make a hit song or whatever yeah. whereas in rap it's it's personal it's like a diary it's mm -hmm. like wow like a diary yeah i yeah. yeah i really really love that that's j cole's strength in mm -hmm. my opinion is oh sorry is he called jermaine yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, who's your mean? And then I was yes. like, oh, gee, okay. Yeah. okay. That was actually pretty interesting when he brought up all these culture vultures. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Damn. Timberlake, Eminem, yeah. Catching Strays, yeah. Macklemore. So the next one is called San Tropez. Mm -hmm. I like that. Kind of yeah. hazy. Kind of sounds familiar a little bit. I like the drums. Mm. Oh, wow. The sample's a, a song by Mob Deep called Giving Up the Goods. That's that's why it sounded familiar to me. Nice. Roll up and smoke my sense away. I like to go to Central Pay. Maybe I go, maybe I stay. Maybe I stay. Every bad reason not to go Terrible reason not to go He's on his way, he's about to get paid He's on his way to Hollywood He's on his way, he's about to get paid He's on his way to Hollywood And hey, from the door, I showed you my scars And I told you, girl, I won't lie Yeah. 
that sounded amazing. That was absolutely <laughs> fantastic. I guess. So I guess now this is him like on his way to. Yeah. On his way to Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah. As you say, I guess like it's it's changed now because before it was all like he wants to be famous and whatever. Right. Yeah. And now it's come to, okay, he's. He's on his way. He's on his way to yeah. success now. Yeah. First of all. I love that song. Yeah, that was fantastic. I think that was a great sample. I, I looked it up. I, I think it's the same It's the same sample that Mob Deep used for that song, uh, Giving Up the Goods. For our younger viewers, uh, you guys should check out Mob Deep, The Infamous. If you like this, I don't know if you'd like that too, but <laughs> <laughs> it's such a classic album, but it sampled one of the songs off there. Mm -hmm. And uh, so it, it, it uh, took me back. But also, um, it's such a, it's just smooth. Like the production was so smooth, so detailed. I love the horns in that. Mm -hmm. And I looked it up. Like J Cole produced this one himself. Oh so, shit! Yeah, like wow. wow. And um, it's all super cinematic. Yeah, and actually on this one, like I'm kind of surprised. Like it doesn't have as many uh, streams as the other songs. Um, oh my god. Yeah, I mean, it's still 86 million. But yeah, I know, but 86 million. Some yeah. of these have billions. Exactly. That was fantastic. But um. I think because in that one he sings the whole time. There's no mm -hmm. rapping in that one, so I don't know if that's why I people really buy. Liked, I really that was, liked the that's actually a, that's actually a highlight for me personally. Yeah, that was a great yeah. atmosphere. I really yeah. enjoyed that. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Cool. All right. So we'll move on to track number eight, G O M D. Mm -hmm. I think that stands for uh, "Get Out of My Dreams." Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm joking. Mm -hmm. you'll, you'll find out what. It is. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh damn! Yeah. Interesting. Mm. You wanna know just where I'm at? Well, let me tell you about it. <laughs> I put my city on the map, but let me tell you about it. I wanna tell you about it. Heads up, everybody run. Call outside and he say he got a gun. Niggas like, man, that's what everybody said. Go and pop the trunk and everybody dead. Everybody scared of the nigga aware that the nigga is better. All my bitches pick it a litter. Eat the cake, bitch, eat the damn cake. Uh, fuck good, nigga, we the man great. On the domino, that she take off all the clothes, nigga. You know how I go, made the piece of man wait. <laughs> the best kept secret, even hold try to keep it, then I leave the damn tape. Uh, rest in peace, any nigga won't be secret server, couldn't keep the man safe. I said to the window, to the wall, my nigga bow when I Niggas, I come home and now don't tell nobody. They getting temporary going, now don't tell nobody. Lord, will you tell me if I changed? I won't tell nobody. I wanna go back to Jermaine and now don't oh. tell nobody. Mm. This is the part that the thug skip. Young nigga never had love, you know. Foot massage, back rub shit. Blowing bubbles in the bathtub shit. That is until I met you. Get to know somebody and you really learn a lot about them. Won't be long before you start to doubt them. Tell yourself you're better off without them. Then the time you will find can't walk without them. Can't talk without them. Can't breathe without them. Came here together, you can't leave without them. So you walk back in, make a scene about them. On your A. Marie, it's just one thing about them. It's called love. Niggas don't sing about it no more. Don't nobody sing about it no more. Nigga don't sing about this shit, nigga. Put a nigga in the club singing. Jamaica. <laughs> It sounds really like Pharrell. Mm. A little bit. Why every rich black nigga gotta be famous? Why every broke black nigga gotta be brainless? Uh, that's a stereotype. Driven by some people up in Aerial Heights, here's a scenario. Young cold box is fat like little Terry. Dreamville, give us a year, we'll be on every show. Shit for everybody on my testicle, please make sure you put the rest in your mouth. G O M D. Mm -hmm. Get off my dick. <laughs> that was very different. I, I, I thought I was going to go somewhere else in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Then it went in a different direction. Then I feel like in like the third verse or whatever, it went in another direction. Yeah. Oh, very interesting. I don't know if he was just like either like self-conscious or like playing into a stereotype. Because in the beginning, it's like, oh, yeah, Hollywood cool. Hollywood cool. When, when, we, when we know up to this point, that's not really him. That's oh. not his personality. Well, I don't know if I'm just... Maybe the fame is changing him. Yeah, or maybe he's just kind of yeah, or he's just kind of self aware of like what's happening mm -hmm. and and like saying this G O M D like 
I don't think that's something he would necessarily say, but because mm. he's in Hollywood, like, you know, oh, maybe, I don't know. That's interesting. That's um, the way I kind of looked at it. Mm -hmm. I could be wrong. Um, cause now he's like, he's talking a lot of shit now and stuff. So maybe. Yeah, I would agree with that. Cool. Yeah. We'll move on to the next one. This one has two, two billion. Oh. Uh, so this is the most listened to. So what dreams had, uh. Had half of this. Yeah. So this one's okay. called No Role Models. Wow, I have high hopes for this. Okay. Baron will be disappointed. Here you go. Sounds great. Yeah. First things first, rest in peace, sucker fear. <laughs> for real. You the only father that I ever knew. I get my bitch pregnant, I'ma be a better you. One time for my oh, LA wow. sisters. One time for my LA hoes. Lame niggas can't tell the difference. One time for a nigga who knows. Don't save her, she don't wanna be saved. Don't save her, she don't wanna be um. saved. Don't save her, she don't wanna be saved. No role models and I'm here right now. No role models to speak up. Searching through my memory, my memory, I couldn't find one. Last night I was getting my feet rubbed by the baddest bitch. Not Trina, but I swear to God, this bitch will make you call your girl up and tell her, hey, what's good? Sorry, I'm never coming home, I'ma stay for good. <laughs> they hang the phone up and proceed to lay the wood. I came fast like 911 in white neighborhoods. <laughs> Ain't got no shame about it. She think I'm spoiled and I'm rich cause I can have any bitch. I got defensive and said, nah, I was the same without it. But then I thought back, back to a better me. Before I was a B-list celebrity Before I started calling bitches bitches so heavily Back when you could get a platinum plat without no melody I want a real love Dark skin and Aunt Viv love <laughs> That Jada in that wheel love That leave a toothbrush at your crib love And you ain't gotta wonder whether that's your kid love She deserve that She a bird, it's a bird trap You think if I didn't rap she would flirt back oh. Taking off a skirt, let her wear my shirt before she leave I'ma need my shirt back <laughs> One time for my LA sisters one time for my LA hoes. Lay niggas can't tell the difference. One time for a nigga who knows. Don't save her. She don't wanna be saved. Don't save her. She don't wanna be saved. There's an old saying in Tennessee. I know it's in Texas, probably in Tennessee, that says, Fool me. <laughs> it's once. George Bush. Shame on. Shame on you. <laughs> <laughs> Fool me, we can't get fooled again. Fool me one time, shame on you. <laughs> Fool me twice, can't put the blame on you. Fool me three times, fuck the peace sign. Load the chopper, let it rain on you. My only regret was too young for Lisa Bonet. My only regret was too young for me alone. Now all I'm left with is hoes from reality shows. Hand her a script, the bitch probably couldn't read alone. <laughs> My only regret was too young for Shade Adu. My only regret could never take a Leah home. Now all I'm left with is hoes up in Greystone. With the stale face, cause they know it's they so. She shallow with the pussy she shallow. <laughs> she shallow. She shallow. She shallow with the pussy she shallow. She shallow. I like that. Yeah. That was amazing. You like that one? And it was hilarious. Yeah. I thought that was absolutely hilarious. Nice. The best line was, um, I came fast like 911 <laughs> in the white neighborhood. I thought that was perfect. That's the best line in the entire album yeah, so far. Yeah, I loved that. I thought that was amazing. There were so many <laughs> other good lines in there. I, yeah. I just thought that was a great song. Yeah. It was hilarious. I understood. And then I confirmed on Genius that it's about like girls like that don't have role models yeah so they turn out the the way he was describing i want you to see that stuff i'm not saying <laughs> <laughs> well he was talking about shallow girls and girls that you might find on like a reality show and yeah. like superficial and then he spoke about like how a girl wouldn't even be talking to her if he wasn't a rapper like yeah like like shallow girls who just like want money and right shit. right yeah groupies yeah that was a great song. Yeah. I thought it was fantastic. And then that thing with George Bush, that was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that I don't know where. That was so funny. And then yeah. what, what, he completely butchered the actual expression. Oh, yeah, yeah, that he did. Yeah. hilarious. The other thing, too, that I, I liked about this, this song was he, he did a couple of shout outs to Fresh Prince. Yeah, yeah. Like in yeah, the beginning, first yeah. things first, peace. Or rest in peace, Uncle Phil. And yeah, then, and uh, then the love, like, or the Yeah, Aunt real Viv. love, dark skin, yeah. and Aunt Viv. Yeah. Yeah. Fresh Piss of Bel Air is my favorite show of all time. So that's, yeah. Yeah. I feel kind of embarrassed because, like, like I said, that song had over 2 billion mm -hmm. streams. I don't think I've actually, like, 
like obviously I've heard the song before, but I don't remember any of that stuff being in there. Wow. Yeah. That was a great vibe, um, and it was hilarious. I yeah. loved that. I thought it was great. That's actually yeah, that was really good. Actually, but did it did it go viral on TikTok for example, <laughs> because it does have two billion two billion listens? I think it's a great song. But yeah. did it, for example, go viral on TikTok, or is it just that? Yeah, popular? I think I think it was a single. Ah. Um, because I know we we asked about Money Trees before on Kendrick's album, and it was because and of because yeah, because we were like, oh, Money Trees is not even a single. How did it become? Anyway, all right, let's move on to track number ten, which is called Hello. Great. Hello, hello, hello. And I thought about you today, and I thought about the hmm. things you used to say. And I thought about the things we did And I thought about your newest kid And damn that makes two now Oh what do I do now Cause if we ever got together I'd have to be them niggas step pops forever <laughs> I always thought that we would be together Interesting I always yeah. thought that we would be together But I don't wanna wait forever I don't wanna wait forever on the rebound like a book back on the rebound like a book back don't just sit back let's get on it time fly by way too quick don't it reflection bring regrets don't it rejection make your defenses so you protect your pride with your reflexes but life is a game with no reset on the end are you thinking Hello. what I'm thinking right now? Hello. <laughs> what it reminds you of? <laughs> yeah. Hello. 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 And then it makes two now. Oh, what do I, I like do the piano. Now? Mm-hmm. So, what did you think of that one? I think that it was very, very cinematic. Verging on cheesy, kind of corny, but not quite. I still really enjoyed it. It did, in a way, remind me of Robocop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, because yeah. of like the strings because got like Disney ish. The, the strings, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I still enjoyed the song. It's probably my least favorite so yeah. far. Um, I still liked it. I don't want anyone to drag me and say, oh my God, no, it's too late. how it's did too you late. hate that song? That's my favorite song. I'm so sorry if that's the case. Personally, my least favorite so far. No, um, I, I agree I with still you. really enjoyed it. I agree with you. Yeah. Yeah, I, I thought of like, because it was it started off interesting, then the drums started coming in. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, these drums are kind of fast for the pace mm-hmm. of the song. Mm-hmm. And then those those high strings kind of came in, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Oh no!" The kind of Disney strings. Yeah, yeah. they got Disneyish, and um, that's kind of similar kind of criticism we had for RoboCop and 808s and Heartbreaks, yeah. and then uh, people got mad at us for that. Yeah, I mean, I appreciate the the sentiment. Like, mm-hmm. I know he's talking about like a girl from yeah. his past that yeah. now has a uh, has two kids, and mm-hmm. he's kind of reflecting on yeah. maybe what if, whatever. Yeah. Um, I just felt like maybe the soundscape could have been better for that. Mm-hmm. And also it's a singing one. And I thought the other singing song, the San Tropez, was, was better than this one. It, in no way detracts from the album as a whole. Absolutely. No, I mean, he's done enough already yeah. to kind of solidify. This like blown my mind so far. So, yeah. Yeah. Let's so move uh, on to we'll let that one slide. Yeah. So we'll move on to uh, number 11, which is called Apparently. Like spin after. The keys. I like to write alone. 
be in my zone. You know, like, up in New York City, chasing so you, so you kind of hear the, that no guitar in the back a little bit. How How much you have so strong? I need to treat you better. Wish you could live forever. So we can spend more time together. I love you, mama. Mm. I keep my head high. Mm. I got my wings carry me. Another day, another rhyme, ho. Another day, another time zone. Today I woke up feeling horny, so it's only right I got two bitches playing on my trombone. <laughs> Keep up, that nigga, huh? Couldn't resist. Aim for the stars and I shouldn't have missed, but I was riding on fumes, so I stopped by the moon. Now I'm sitting on the hood of this bitch, like thanks for the view. Waiting on thanks from a few, cause without me you wouldn't exist. You know that shit gave you the blueprint, don't forget. Cold as your phone on zero percent, going off. Now nigga showing off. Niggas where they hard, but they flowing soft. I'm taking off like boing on a big ass boing, getting head like a coin toss. <laughs> Too easy. I like this. That guitar reminds me of your the new abnormal. Hmm. No. You were saying that reminded you of Team Impala? Yeah, for whatever reason, like the Team Impala has a song in the slow rush, mm -hmm. the very last song, one more hour. Mm -hmm. If you fast forward to like kind of halfway through that bass line and in the beginning of apparently mm -hmm. it reminded me of that bass line mm -hmm. and then for whatever reason those guitars also remind me of Tame Impala mm -hmm. that's nothing to do with anything it just reminded me of that interesting yeah I think I can understand why you would say that I thought that was really nice yeah yeah I really I really like that sentiment there were three lines I really appreciated okay he said wish you could live forever so we could spend more time together I love you mama hmm I like to dedicate that to my mother, <laughs> who will be watching. Yeah, shout out to Eileen. <laughs> I particularly like this flow in that last verse. Oh yeah. He kind of sped it up. Yeah, and was, yeah, yeah. I meant to say that. More energy actually. in that yeah, one. So I really, yeah, yeah I, I love that. Yeah. 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 Cool. That was really good. All right, let's keep it moving. So track number twelve is called "Love Yours." Lovely instrumentals. Yeah. Love yours. Love yours. You love that piano. No such thing. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing. No such thing. Heart beating fast. Let a nigga know that he alive. Fake niggas, mad snakes, snakes in the grass. Let a nigga know that he arrived. Don't be sleeping on your level Cause it's beauty in the struggle Ugliness in the success Hear my words and listen to my signal of distress I grew up in the city And know sometimes we had less Compared to some of my niggas down the block Man, we were blessed So tell me mama please Why you be drinking all the time Does all the pain he brought you Still linger in your mind Cause pain still lingers on mine On the road to riches Listen, this is what you find The good news is, nigga You came a long way the bad news is, nigga, you went the wrong way For what's money without happiness? Or hard times without the people you love? Though I'm not in touch the people how you did like before I'm tired of living with demons cause they always inviting more Think being broke was better Now I don't mean that phrase with no disrespect To all my niggas out there living in debt you Hear me, always gonna be a bigger house somewhere but nigga feel me Long as the people in that motherfucker love you dearly Always gonna be a whip that's better than the one you got Always gonna be some clothes that's fresher than the ones you rock Always gonna be a bitch that's better out there on the tours But you ain't never gonna be happy till you love yours no such thing as a life that's better than yours Love yours no such thing as a life that's better than yours Love yours no such thing as a life that's better than yours I Love yours no such thing, no such thing that was very profound. Yeah, I love that one. Yeah, I really loved that. That was, I thought that was a really good message. And I liked the way he, he said it too, because he wasn't just singing about it. He was like self-aware enough to, to be like, basically, yeah, I know, like, coming from me, like, yeah. like you're going to see me and I have everything in the world and you're going to be like, well, what do you know? Right. But he's saying, well, I was once in the same position 
and I still feel this way basically. It, all that matters is that people love you. Yeah, for um, sure. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, that's yeah. definitely uh, one of the highlights for me. Yeah, I thought that was that was really really insightful. Yeah, um, and a really great message. Even when he just kind of summed it up at the end, when he was saying like, "There's always going to be a, a whip that's better than the one you got. Always going to be some clothes that's fresher than the ones you rock." Blah blah blah. Always going to be a bad a, a bitch that's badder out there. That's not true. That doesn't apply to no. you. No. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> facts bro facts it's facts yeah i thought i saw it like tied it up nicely i know yeah. not on the last song yeah but i thought it was it was nice how um like in the beginning we were like we came from when he was born basically yeah and then him growing up and then him becoming successful and now we're at almost the end and yeah. he's, he's basically like it's not what it seems right and which is so funny because i feel like I feel like everyone who's famous is like, <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> yeah, it's so true. Somebody like J. Cole, he's, he's, uh, he just comes off as a very humble guy anyway, like in general, that's his persona. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want to say that's his persona, that's really him. Mm -hmm. um, just a humble guy that's very self-aware. Um, and he's just like, he sounds like an overall good guy, but mm -hmm. I, I like, I just like the sentiment of this, yeah, of, this of the whole entire album really, yeah. but in particular this song kind of like, you know, I know you're going through a lot, but mm -hmm. just realize there's lessons to be learned. And, mm -hmm. you know, I made it this far, but even at this at this point, like, there's things that I'd rather not deal with. Mm -hmm. You know, even though I'm a successful in all this stuff, like, even though I made it. Basically, the grass is always greener on the other side. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, I thought that was a great sentiment. I really enjoyed that. Great. Well, this next one is called, uh, it's the final one. Mm -hmm. It's called Note to Self. Uh, it's 14 minutes and a half. <laughs> when I see that song, is that long? It's intimidating. It's very intimidating and yeah. I, I don't feel inclined to listen to it. I'm going to and I, I hope <laughs> I enjoy it. Uh, to be fair, uh, I do. this is one of the things I do remember about the album. It's A lot of it is just kind of shout outs. Oh, it's okay. kind of like end credits. Mm -hmm. um, okay, well that's appropriate. I respect yeah, that. Yeah, it's still kind of long, but whatever. Let's yeah. just get into it. Mm -hmm. Note to self. <laughs> and wherever we go and whatever we do oh Jonah Hill, oh Jonah Hill, how could I forget Jonah Hill? Yo, that shit you told me when we was in the elevator, nigga, that shit changed my. I was just fucking playing. I don't know either one of those two dudes. I don't know either one of them niggas. It just was, it was, I was in the moment. I just lied. I don't give a fuck. 2014, four zero job. That was actually like the the vibe of that. That was very pleasant. Yeah. I thought that was very kind of him to express gratitude to so many people. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to help? Yeah, <laughs> that was something. Nice. That was pretty funny. <laughs> it was funny when he said it, and then when he said he didn't actually know Joel. Yeah. Hill, I thought that was even funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. Seems like a really good guy. He is. A really he is thankful like thankful person. Really grateful for how how far right. he's come. I think that's nice. Um, he said at the end, "If you got this far," he said he fucks with you. If you got this far. <laughs> so, J Cole fucks with me. There we go. Thank you, there we go. Cole. I thought the vibe was nice of that. No, I do like I do like the song it's itself. It's very the piano. I like the piano yeah. throughout this. I thought there was a lot of great piano in it. Yeah. Um yeah, I just really love the vibe of this album. And I love the storytelling. And you know what? I love Kendrick Lamar. I think he's absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. But after I've listened to a whole Kendrick Lamar album, I'm like depressed. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like, and he's just, he's absolutely fantastic. He's one of the most talented people on earth, mm -hmm. I think. But it's very heavy. Right, right. It's, a, it's extremely heavy to mm. like listen to. 
So at the end, I'm very emotionally drained. Yeah. It's worth it because of everything that comes with it. Mm-hmm. I thought the, the storytelling was similar. Um, and like it was very cinematic as well. Mm-hmm. But it was much more lighthearted. Right. Even when he was talking about things that were like a bit heavier, it still didn't sound as like dark and it didn't pull you down as much. I have to repeat again. I think Kendrick Lamar is like <laughs> absolutely fantastic. I love his music. This felt like a more lighthearted journey, but a journey all the same. I thought the vibe was quite light most of the time. It was very smooth. I love the pianos and the strings. Mm -hmm. I just thought this was fantastic. I really loved it. I'm a new J. Cole fan. Nice. I thought this was really, really, really good. Cool. I really loved it. Wet Dreams, I thought. (laughs) That's a standout for me, just because it it was, it just perfectly captured, I thought. Do you have any other standouts besides... uh... I would need to think about that. No role models jumps out at me Mm -hmm. because I thought it was hilarious. Mm -hmm. Um, But I would need to listen to it again. I'll listen to it again and and write over the video which ones were my favorites. Um, But yeah, I just, I I thought it was great. I thought everything he spoke about, I thought was like perfectly captured. Um, I just thought it was great storytelling, yeah. great vibes. I don't know what more you can ask for in an album. I think he has a really nice voice when he's rapping and when he's singing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he just seemed like a good, self-aware, kind-hearted, grateful person. Yeah. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. I'll be completely honest with you. I did not like this album before. Yeah, I've, I've only listened to it a couple of times before. and I, I, I you just, didn't uh, like this? I think it was forgettable for me. Um, oh. However... During this experience, I really, really like it. Like, I really appreciate it. That's great. And you know me. Like, yeah. I'm horrible at first reactions. Yeah. Like, I shouldn't even be. <laughs> Again, like like I said, I don't remember. I don't remember the songs. Mm-hmm. Like, I know. Like, I knew what to expect. Some of them, like, Wet Dreams, I kind of knew already. I knew the last song mm-hmm. was going to be the, the credits and stuff. But I didn't remember the details. And that's on me. Like, that's a personal thing. I just, I just didn't go back. But, yeah. I, I fully admit, like, I'm converted. You like, slept on J. Cole. Again, I thought the storytelling was fantastic. Yeah. And it was, like, it was just easy and pleasant to listen to without, like, how can I put this? It was easy listening, but it still had substance. Like, I had yeah. a lot of substance without being hard to listen. I, I understand why so many people are, like, obsessed with him. But yeah, that, that concludes our reaction to mm-hmm. uh, 2014 Forest Hills Drive. Hopefully I'm a you Cole guys. Fan now. Yeah. 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 I appreciate that. Thank you for the recommendations. I um, understand. We're definitely going to cover more. Um, oh yeah. J Cole. Please bear with us because we have so much to cover. And yeah. We're not ignoring you when you yeah. when you ask for something. There's just there's endless. Yeah, we see all the requests. To cover. Um, at this point, we kind of want to like jump around a little bit so we mm-hmm. can cover different rappers yeah. and different or sorry covered different sides of hip-hop mm. you know what i mean like we just did you know jpeg mafia yeah. travis scott now j cole like mm-hmm. i feel like all three of those have something different to offer yeah for sure it was great it's yeah. been a great journey so far yeah. and we will be continuing next week yeah thank so you. stay tuned thank, thank you, you so for much. watching thank you for time key Love yeah it. yeah keep uh you know like our videos keep if liking you like it. keep subscribing keep commenting share with the homies yeah And uh, that's it. Yeah. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.